All right, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to do upright rows, which are a good shoulder exercise, but they can be dangerous on your shoulders. So this is why we wanted to shoot this video to show you the proper way to do it that's healthier on your shoulders that can still give you great progress, great size, strength, and definition in your shoulders. So in this video, we're gonna cover all the key form points. I'm actually gonna show you variations with both the barbell and a set of dumbbells. I'm gonna give you more recommendations on which, bet, which is best for your actual shoulder health. And, and then at the end, I'm gonna give you some recommendations on some sets and reps on how to incorporate upright rows into your routine for the best results. I know you're gonna learn a ton. So get out your pen and paper and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com all right, so the upright row, um, in general, the name kind of tells you exactly what it is. We're upright, we're standing, and we're doing a row overhead. And it is a good shoulder exercise. Anytime you're raising your arm in front of your body, your deltoid has to activate to get your arm up here. So we know it obviously works the muscle, but the problem is that this action generally of raising um, a bar overhead can create impingement on the front of the shoulder. So a little bit of anatomy that's gonna help explain this is when we call the shoulder, we're actually looking at a complex ball and socket joint that involves the humerus, um, which is the bone that runs inside your upper arm, as well as your scapula, where the humerus sits in the scapula. And on the front of the scapula is something called your acromion process. And there are all these nerves and tendons that run right under that, that subacromial space. And the problem is when our shoulders um, get into this internally rotated position, like the upright row, where we internally rotate and we raise up, that creates an impingement here in the subacromial space. And it can be dangerous because depending on on your genetics and the actual angle of your acromion, it can dig into those precious tissues and you can have a lot of rotator cuff tendonitis, some issues with your biceps tendon, it's really not good. And the problem with the upright row inherently is that it requires that you get into internal rotation and you raise up, creates that impingement. So for some people, um, there are different kinds of acromion process. For some people with a very flat acromion, they can do upright rows all day, totally heavy weights, no problem. It's not gonna cause them a lick of issues. For other people with a very angular acromion, like I, take, I have one of those, it can cause some impingement and damage to those tendons. So it honestly ends up not being worth it because there's other great shoulder exercises. But in this video, we're gonna show you some recommendations. So. The standard upright row uses something like a barbell or an easy bar, and it looks something like this. You're taking a slightly within shoulder width grip, you're hinging at the hips slightly, your elbows are flared, and you're rowing up just like this. So arms come up, rowing to your chin, coming right on down. And again, the danger is this is creating internal rotation from my shoulder, and it's kind of just like a dangerous motion here at the top of the exercise. So what can we do to make it better? Well, the first thing we can do is we can widen the grip a little bit. Even widening the grip is gonna open the shoulder up a little bit more, because the shoulder doesn't have to internally rotate to accommodate such a narrow grip. So we can make it a little wider, right here, and we can row up just like this. Still in creates, creates some of that impingement internal rotation, but it's a little bit less than the hyper narrow grip just like this. But even better than using a barbell or an easy bar is to consider using a pair of dumbbells, which is gonna give us the benefit because unlike the barbell, which has a very fixed bar path, the dumbbells allow us to do some interesting things to get the shoulder a little more into external rotation. Internal rotation right here, external rotation. So what we can do to make this a healthier exercise is to bend forward a little bit more than normal. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a normal upright row with the dumbbells. The dumbbells are gonna move in a free path, but we're gonna externally rotate a little bit more than normal. So where a normal upright row would look something like this, with dumbbells we have the benefit of doing something like this where we're coming up and I'm externally rotating at the top. You're still gonna feel it in your shoulders, but as I'm at the top here, what's happening is I'm actually moving my shoulder blade. My shoulder blade opens and comes back. So when I'm here, shoulder blade's opening up. It's gonna open up that space in the front of the shoulder. So here's reps right here. Bend forward a little bit, open up just like this. Still feel it in the shoulders, still keeping it tight to your body, still coming up, pausing at the top, but it's a little bit of a modified upright row that's healthier on your shoulders. And again, with this exercise, whether you have the ability with your body type to do it with a barbell or one of those wavy easy bars, or if you have a shoulder type that you think dumbbells are gonna be better, you'll definitely feel it doing a couple few reps if you have some impingement issues. This is an exercise that's best that you do lighter at a higher rep range at the end of your workout. 
This is not your core staple shoulder mass building exercises. Those are your overhead presses, your military presses, your face pulls. Um, these are the things that really build those big shoulders. This is kind of more of a finisher and a finesse move that has its place, but it's not the core staple. And we actually have a full video on the best shoulder workouts. We review the 10 best shoulder exercises. I demo one on camera and we actually show you the research that these are actually provide the most activation of your shoulder musculature. So that's a video you definitely want to check out if you're interested in better shoulders and upright rows. So that is linked in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching over at our Fit Fowler Project blog, we'll embed that video as well so you have that. So overall, um, this exercise is very interesting because some people can do it, some people should probably steer away from it, and you can kind of tell based on your impingement history if you had shoulder issues whether or not this is going to be a problem, but overall this is something you want to do at the end of the workout, higher reps, and I hope you got some tips in this video. And even if you do have you know, no problems with this exercise, try it out with the dumbbells. Try it out with that hinge, that external rotation. Still keep the dumbbells tight to your body as you're coming up here. Pause and hold it at the top for that good peak contraction and externally rotate a little bit. I think you're really going to enjoy that version of the exercise. If you like this video and you learned something new about your shoulder health and some variations on upright rail, give us a thumbs up. Let us know on YouTube. We love hearing your feedback. It's really important to us. Um, and here at our Fit Fowler Project YouTube channel, we have over 150 videos at the time of shooting this one on exercise tutorials, things on nutrition, supplementation, motivation, um, all the things you need to know to stay strong and healthy for life because we are the Fit Fowler Project. This is what we do. So subscribe to our channel for updates when we post new videos and to check out all the amazing videos we have. There's a ton for you to sink your teeth into. Um, and if you're interested in the best exercises for each body part, we put together a new uh, one free P PDF cheat sheet that covers all the best exercises per body part. So shoulders, we list them all out and we have links to the actual video demonstration and we give you the research that shows these are the best exercises as well as chest, back, arms, legs, abs. We have that PDF. We'll send it straight to your email. You just let us know where to send it. The link to get that is in the description below if you're watching on YouTube or if you're on our blog, it's all over the place. You can get that there. So I hope you found this valuable and you learned something. Definitely subscribe, hit thumbs up, leave us a comment, do these exercises, do upright rows, give your shoulders problems. I'd love to hear. Um, it's really nice to get a good discussions going and uh, thank you for being here my friend. Check out those other videos, check out the channel, get that free PDF straight sent to your email and I'll see you around the channel and I'll talk to you very soon.